Hey guys, Bada Bing here. Thanks for joining me. Today, uh, this is this is going to be quite a sad video. I'm sorry to say. Um, it's of an airsoft gun that I bought way back in February of this year, and it is the review that you never got to see. It's the review that never happened. And as you can see, it's of an AEG. So it's got to be pretty special for me to review an AEG, right? These are no longer produced. These were discontinued well over 10 years ago now. This is something of a proprietary AEG. It doesn't use any other components from any other electric guns. So essentially it's its own animal. So, um, yeah, I suppose I better show you what it is. It's the Tokyo Marui. Uzi SMG. So as I said, these were discontinued, I want to say in the mid 2000s, somewhere around that time. And unfortunately, because it didn't use any parts uh, common with any other AEGs, it had its own version five gearbox. So inevitably, if yours broke, you were kind of screwed because no upgrade parts really existed and uh, the spare parts availability around the world just took a nosedive really as these things started going down left and right um, because of the gearbox design which was incredibly well it was well designed but it wasn't well designed at the same time um, one of the major things was it was made from plastic and what with it being plastic uh, if you went in there to do maintenance or, or, or whatever, that kind of set a countdown clock of the Uzi's demise. Because the more times you remove the screws from the gearbox, um, you could potentially ruin the threads and then you couldn't get the gearbox back together. So yeah, <laughs> not really good at all. But let's get in there and, and take a look at this baby. So as I said, I bought this back in February from a friend of mine and he only put through a few thousand BBs uh, since owning it and really over the course of its lifetime, it's, it probably hasn't even seen 8,000 rounds. I mean, you can tell by the, by the, uh, the pristine bodywork, it really hasn't been used all that much. So yeah and then you got the uh the typical polystyrene boxes that the tm uh tm guns used to come with along with the uh the type of box like that they don't look like this anymore it's a bit of a blast from the past okay now let's get this bad boy out of here and here she is the classic uzi nine millimeter or i should say in arnold schwarzenegger's voice the Uzi 9mm. Yeah, it's just awesome. My first experience with the TM Uzi must have been in 2001, 2002, somewhere around that time frame. And on this particular Sunday skirmish, I was running around with my MP5 and I was getting a bit bored of it. So one of the guys in our team had one of these. So he said, well, why don't you take this one out for a game? See what you think. So I did. Uh, I had a couple of high cap mags with it as well, and I just had a, uh, it was a blast. It was really good fun running around with this thing. Now there's not a whole lot of reviews online. I kind of wanted to do my own, just to have a little bit of uh, classic airsoft on my channel. And that's what this was all about. I think I paid probably a bit too much money for it, if I'm honest. I mean, yeah, it is a, a rare airsoft gun, However, it wasn't really a sound investment on my part because of the lack of uh, spares out there and upgrades, upgrade potential as well as practically zero. So <laughs> yeah, not really a sound investment. So about two weeks after buying it, I started doing the review, you know, the write-up, shooting tests, FPS, uh, accuracy, all that kind of stuff. And then it just stopped firing. Now the gearbox was still turning over, but it wasn't actually launching those BBs. 
Turns out, the nozzle broke. And this is 2019, in a gun that was discontinued over 10 years ago. Spare parts do not exist anymore. I mean, not in this part of the world. Maybe in Japan you might get lucky and find a few spare parts knocking around, but over here, nope. You ain't gonna find anything. So, I managed to find uh, an upgraded nozzle from Kick BB in Taiwan, so I had to do it. I ordered it, and it came a couple of weeks later. I installed it, and the Uzi fired again, but only about 10 shots. And that's when one of the gears broke, and that just began a sequence of events which led to my Uzi's downfall. Yeah, I am still, still so upset about this, and my, my iconic SMG is dead. So what can I do about this? Well, there's not really a lot I can do. I suppose I could wait around for a complete working Uzi gearbox, but yeah, that's going to be impossible at this point. Uh, the other option is just to keep it and have it as one of those things I fondle when I watch The Terminator. Or I could just cut my losses and sell it. And that's what I've done. I've sold it. The guy that's bought this, I think he has his own Uzi. Um, externally, not as good as mine, I don't think, so he's going to be ripping off the external parts from mine and transfer it over to his working Uzi. I think that's what he's going to be doing. Um, which is a good idea because, you know, he gets a complete working Uzi with excellent externals and he gets the box and the manual and all that kind of thing. So it'd be a nice collector's kit. So it sucks that uh, I wasn't able to make this review. It's the review that never happened. Uh, it's going to be so cool as well. I had the VHS effects, the cool, cheesy 80s music. You would have loved it. This has been a sad video, I do apologise. But what can you do? New guns to review, new videos to come out, and I hope to see you then. So thanks for joining me, and um, I'll catch you in a bit. Take it easy, guys.